now we finna head out to let's see then we go on to Sebastian wait do I have a moon calf in here I do Everything's all right now. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the Sebastian. What the hell? We should be going the right way. It's a deal. This cannot possibly be.
Oh, here he You'll is. never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. Mm. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Damn. You a little aggy about that. Conversation. Let's go on. The fire of ice.
I can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? Mm. This way. Uh. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. <gasps> that's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... 
odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelio. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelt. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Goblet metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. How ah! come I always hold a short straw? <laughs> Wouldn't give to be a demogeist right now. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crankcroft. Scared off the little puffsky. <laughs> you may have eluded me now, but you'll pay the price for it next time. <laughs> what was that? Someone's going to regret trespassing. They were guarding the minister for magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Revelio. What in Merlin's name? 
So they got a dragon up in here. Dragons. They're dueling dragons. It's a dragon fighting room. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being on the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Then I what Victor was sinking straight in a bargain with him. If every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of the dragons to tell us. One in the morning. I heard something. Slots are full, huh? we can get rid of something. Now we can get this. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite a fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her out, shall we?
Oh, yeah, 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 it was mine. Like, I, I didn't think I'd leave it up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. plans they likely have for it. I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. even have the spells that they're asking me to use? Executioner. Pluso, Sando, Flipendo, Adioso, Glacius, or some momentum. Um, I'm 
The dragon that's gonna be dope. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. After this, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term.
I think we good now. We gotta go get um. You know it was that loud. <laughs>